Smith, there'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks, let me give a quick shout-out to Ticket TV, man. Uh, shout-out to Ticket TV. Definitely, man, you know, for turning some, some new people onto the channel. Appreciate that, man. All right, I'm finna tell you, I'm finna get, to, I'm finna get at y'all raw in this video, LDBC style, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely PG-13, but I'm gonna be raw. So, you know, I'm, this is a rebuttal video. I made a video about the weight bully. Okay, I made a video and I said that Yana Kuniskana weight bullied Raquel Palugia. Okay, so people took that as an opportunity. Oh, yeah, but you know, uh, you, you don't say that with Cyborg. You know, what? Why, why is it? Why is it that every time a video pop out, we always got to compare it to Cyborg? But then you guys don't want me to talk about Cyborg. Y'all get mad when I discuss Cyborg. Oh, y'all get upset. But, you know, you... You know, you always bring interject cyborg into every video, okay? And some of y'all, you look so foolish because I got other videos saying that I actually don't like weight bullying from anybody. And I actually said that, you know, cyborg is going to have an advantage over Tanya Evinger because she's going to put on more weight. Oh, I said that too, but you know what? People just don't want to hear that. I also said that if Valentina and cyborg ever fought, Chris Cyborg is too big and she would come in overly hydrated more than Valentina would. But y'all forget those videos. See, this video, I don't agree with weight bullying from anybody. But see, for some reason, you guys get upset. And I notice there's a segment of y'all that you get concentrated, very concentrated. And you guys will coach you races. Oh, okay, cool. Because you the people that I just blocked. I mean, y'all make it so easy. Because, you know, when a person, they say something to you, you know, that's what they believe in. I mean, y'all know that, right? When they come out and just say it out of the blue... Oh, yeah, because nobody, even people that disagree with me on that video, nobody brought anything up about race. Not, there were a few, but nobody really brought anything up about a person race, okay? People were coming from the point where, Coach, you know, you need to hold cyborg feet to the fire from this, okay? And that I can get. I don't have no problem with that. See, I can debunk that real quickly, okay? Okay, here go the difference before I go in and really just do what I do. First of all, Yana don't have people that's running from her. Unfortunately, there's an abundance of people for Yana to fight, and this is so easy. It's so easy. There's an abundance of people that want to fight her, and she's a champion. <laughs> Chris Cyborg is a champion, and there's an abundance of people who don't want to fight her. You got people. This, these are facts I'm telling you. These are people. They're people that don't want to come, okay, to the UFC because they know they got to fight Cyborg. They're going to stay right where they at. Julia Budd even said, nope, <laughs> I'm not fighting her. And I'm just trying to tell y'all, she got fighters on high level, high level fighters that don't want no parts of her. So, when you say, well, Cyborg beating up on Bantamweights, because the Bantamweights, unfortunately, the only one that's got the heart to face her. These Bantamweights are the only ones that will go up and face Chris Cyborg, the ones of late. They will. So, what is she supposed to do? I mean, Jermaine Durand may didn't want to face her. Megan Anderson didn't want to face her. Oh, yeah, that's right. But, you know, whenever I criticize the white woman, whenever I criticize the white woman, y'all get upset. But to be honest, I come on here and tell you that I'm biased, but I criticize everybody. When I gave Amanda that work, oh, y'all was loving it. Oh, good video, good video, great video, coach. Oh, yeah. When I was criticizing Jermaine Durandamay, yep, coach, oh, you hit this one on the head. Oh, but let, wait, let me guess, I criticized Megan Anderson. Oh, y'all upset. Wait a minute, no, you can't do that. Oh, no, what you mean? See, here go the thing, here go the thing. You don't run anything. And I give each and every one of you a chance, as long as you're not racist. I give you a chance to step into the lion's den. I give you a chance. If you want it, you can get it, okay? But you know what? The majority of y'all won't step up into the lion's den. And the reason why you won't step into the lion's den, because you have a low self-image, and you definitely don't want to get worked, okay? Because that's what's going to happen. You go one-on-one -on -one with me, it's pretty much you're going to get worked, okay? You go one-on-one, -on -one, you, you, you're going to get worked. And I'm going to lay it into you. Especially if you want to debate this. If you want to debate me being a racist, go ahead. See, I don't even got to debate you live because I would complete either of you. Yeah, but, you know, Valentina probably, it's, it's a toss-up between Valentina and Marion as my favorite fighters. Valentina. I'm a fan of Yana. Uh, you know how many fights of hers I didn't cover? Oh, yeah, that's right. But y'all such great fans. Y'all won't even make a video. Hell, y'all idiots won't even buy the pay-per-views. Y'all don't even do that. I got UFC fight pass. I pay for the Invicta championships. 
I mean, you guys, y'all, y'all don't even, you know what? Y'all don't even, y'all wait till the stuff come out a day later. That shows you how much you support your fighters that you claim to love so much. Second thing, you know, it's a wonder why people don't ever go. And some of you guys, I've checked on videos that I've done on topics such as this or similar topics to Ariel and Luke and the other big names. I don't ever see y'all on there criticizing or giving it. Y'all don't ever go to their channels doing that. So what I'm going to start doing, okay? Since y'all won't criticize them and y'all won't say nothing to them. You know, and those guys don't give two shakes of a crap about you anyway. So they ain't going to talk to you anyway. I mean, I could go that route. I could go that route. Just, you know, it, it, it's really, I can't cut the comment section off. Because that's something that makes the video what it is, good or bad. I can't do it. But I can offer you step into the lion's den if you want to prove that i'm a racist step into the lion's den i guarantee you, you'll be unsuccessful now everybody else that you're coming from the standpoint coach you need to hold chris cyborg feet to the fire on this okay i've actually already done that i've actually already said i'm not a fan of people who wait bullets i've already said this i'm not a fan ever from anybody maybe y'all just misunderstood i'm not a fan ever from anybody okay that includes cyborg so you know, in my opinion, I think that these bodies, the, the, the CSAC, all of these organizations, they need to give everybody a 10-pound weight minimum. That means that's how much weight that you can go up in a fight. It's not going to matter for Cyborg, because skill set. Her skill set is that good, it's not going to matter anyway. So y'all hate the fact that I have nice things to say about Cyborg and nice things to say about Amanda. A lot of y'all hate that. Because, see, you want that narrative. You want people. See, the norm has been... To really dog out these Brazilian fighters. That, that's been the norm. But see, coach don't do that. And so y'all get upset because you really want me to dog them out. Just like everybody else would. Just like all the other channels, you know, on YouTube that dog them out on a consistent basis. I called them out on dumb stuff. Just like I called out Amanda. Oh, but that was okay. But when I called out Megan and I called out, you know, just fighters. Then I wasn't even looking at the color when I called them out. I just said, no. This girl ducked Cyborg, okay? And it's not like Yana is ducking Cyborg. Actually, Yana not ducking Cyborg. I just said that I don't think she need, I think Yana need to really defend that belt a few times in Invicta before we start talking about her fighting Chris Cyborg because she's a talent that don't need, see, y'all miss all of that. Y'all miss all of that and just hear the parts or read the title. And some of y'all look so stupid. Y'all look so stupid. And, and it just, it make you, when you leave, I sometimes, you know, I just leave the comments down. I'm like, look at this idiot. <laughs> just leaving a dumb comment. So for the people that say, you know, coach, you know, hold Chris. I'm talking to the people when you say Chris, hold Chris Cyborg to the same fire. Okay, I'm with that. Cool. I, but I've already done that in the past. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You can go back and search videos. I got over 2,000. Search them. <laughs> I've done that. And second... Who the hell is going to fight Chris Cyborg? Y'all don't get it. Who's going to fight Chris Cyborg? She don't get that Chris Cyborg got people running from her. Yana don't. Yana don't have the people. People want to fight her. People don't want to fight Cyborg. That's the difference. That's why these Bantamweights been fighting her. Because the natural featherweights don't want to. But see, you know, it's amazing. Y'all don't say nothing about Megan Anderson who come in real heavy. Hey, Megan Anderson come in heavier than Chris Cyborg do. But I know we're not going to say nothing about that. I know we're not. We know why. Okay. But anyway, this is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. And I'm done. And this video, I don't really care what you think. <laughs>